All right, so here we are. We are finally back. And let me just say, um, I have been trying to record this for a while now. But um, not this one. Um, I'm doing a Shupa Binet run on Pokemon Emerald. And I've never done Emerald. I've only done Ruby and Sapphire. And there is some differences. And it's been a while since I've played Ruby or Sapphire also. So, um, yeah, it's just taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But I've done like five or six gyms so far in that game. It's a little harder than I thought it would be too. But you'll see that when we get there. Anyways, today we're doing Emerald. Uh, not Emerald, Crystal, and we're doing um, Inte, continuing our Legendary series on that, and um, I chose Inte, and I named it Unknown, because every time I think of Inte, I think of the movie that he was in, um, with the unknowns, and there was like the little girl, I think it was Pokemon Movie 3, I don't know what the exact name of the movie though. Um, we do name our rival Stella, of course, because Stella is our arch nemesis, and um... Yeah, uh, as you can see, <clears throat> in the beginning it's not super hard, although um, Entei is going to have the same problem Raikou had in a lot of the ways as to um, just the move pool is not good at all. Um, the Legendary Beast, I, mean, I haven't done Suiku, Su Suikun yet. Um, I'll have to look up how to say that before I actually do the video, before I get roasted by the comments. But um, yeah, their moves aren't the best, but their stats are really good, so it's not super hard, but, um, I think Entei's a little better just because, um, like, one of the weaknesses that they both share is ground, but Raikou couldn't hurt ground at all because ground's immune to electric, but ground can still be hurt by fire, it's just not going to be super effective, so we do have an edge on Raikou there, um, just the fire versus electric thing alone I think is a little bit better. Um, not that I like fire more as a type than electric necessarily. It's just a little easier I think to do fire than electric. Um, of course it can vary depending on the one you're actually using but I didn't even really say anything about the first two gems there because as you can see they were extremely easy. With Whitney here I did not heal after I fought the trainers in her gym that I had to or anything so I actually did die the first time on Whitney and I had to go back and do it again but I did win the first like the second time so um with full health and with you know everything being full I was able to do it it wasn't like super good as you can see here I'm in yellow and it wouldn't have taken much for her to take me down but she was not able to do that, and I did end up getting the win on Whitney here. And then we get to the fourth town, where I would do the fourth gem, and since this is Crystal, we have to do the uh, third rival fight? I don't even remember talking about the second rival fight, that's how easy everything's been so far. Um, I don't like the moveset of um, Entei though. Like, it is easier than the Raikou, but um, this was about the... Well, no, actually, it's a little later in the game. Um, I'm probably about even with um, Raikou at this point in the game. Um, both of them have similar movesets. I didn't... I can't remember. It's been, a, like, a, over a week now. I wasn't planning on necessarily doing this video. I just did this one because the other one was taking so long. I can't remember if Raikou started with Bite as well or not. I feel like it did. Anyways, this gym was extremely easy this time. I normally struggle with it, but, um... I... Oh, this time I actually healed before I fought the gym leader. I beat all the trainers leading up to it, and then I did that. I don't normally talk about this guy. It confuses me. Because in Crystal, they set him up as, like, a second rival. Kind of like how Wally is in Emerald. And Ruby and Sapphire. But you only battle him this one time. I don't, I don't remember battling him at all at any other point in the game. Unless you have to go somewhere special outside of the storyline to do that. I'm not sure. So anyways, we get to the fighting gym here, and normally this gym is extremely easy. I have no problems with it normally, and it is just a piece of cake. However, this time it's not, because um, for some reason, I mean, I get it, Polyrath is part fighting, but it's just kind of weird to me too, because it's like, it's water. And we'll have that problem in some other gyms too, where they're supposed to be one type, but they have water type for some reason, and... It, um, 
is an interesting challenge in an Nintei run like this, but um, we make it through. So after several, several attempts, I go back a third time, I think it is here, um, and I try some different things. Yeah, this is the one I try Ember. Yeah, obviously I know Ember's not going to do very much, but I um, was just seeing what it would do in damage compared to the others because I was using Dig before and it just wasn't doing enough. And um, the other move I had wasn't either. So as you can see here, I'm, before I go back again, I'm like, okay, what move am I going to teach? I decided on Headbutt because it's the only thing I could learn that seemed like it would do something. Um, I don't even remember if Inte could learn another move that I had in there. I was I really wanted to teach Shadow Ball, but obviously Inte can't learn that. So we go back again with Headbutt, and I use Headbutt on Primeape even, and it did pretty well, and it did really well on Polyrath. Um, the thing is, is it kept putting me to sleep in the other ones too, and that was also challenging. Now we get to Jasmine, and this one I knew would be really easy. Normally, this is a little bit of a struggle in a lot of runs, but um, it was really a struggle on the Raikou run, I think. I can't remember exactly. Like I said, it's been over a week, but... Um, it was so easy in the Entei run because Entei can learn Dig, which is double super effective against Magnemite, right? I think. And then I have Fire moves, which is effective against all of them, especially Steelix, which is normally a brick wall. This one I was actually worried about with Price because I knew that he had Seal and Dugong, and both of them was um, not going to be weak to my fire moves, and then I knew Pillow Swine wasn't going to be weak to it either. In fact, it would have ground moves, which would be effective against me. So I was a little concerned, but as you can see here on the first try, I did it, so that wasn't really a problem at all. Um, I wasn't expecting Claire to be a challenge, but this is the biggest one where it's supposed to be a dragon gem, but they have Seedra for some reason, and Seedra is not part dragon type. Seedra only has one type. It has water typing. So if they thought it looked like a dragon, and they thought that it would fit the dragon type gem, why didn't they make Seedra a water dragon type in the second generation? I really just don't understand. So I bought... I, I bought... Yeah, I, I totally bought Claire. So I fought Claire several times, and um, I think it annoyed me even more because of how much I dislike Claire. Like, I even got stuck on a lot of her um, trainers leading up to her, which I haven't even fought her yet in the gameplay here and the footage you're seeing. Um, it was just such a struggle. Anyways, I don't like Claire though, so it really annoyed me even more because she is petty and she won't give you the badge and she has this stupid thing she has you go do and I just really hate Claire. Um, I probably my least favorite gem leader in any Pokemon game. Um, and it's not even that her, her gem's too hard or too annoying or like whatever. I mean, it is annoying, but for other reasons. It's not like the battles itself anything special or the puzzles are anything special or whatever. It's just her personality makes me angry. <laughs> um, but yeah, we fight her and I was like, I'll just level up on her. And I got a run there where um, I think I ended up settling on just using Headbutt, I think is what it was, or Stomp. I can't remember if I had Stomp yet. Um, yeah, I had Stomp. So yeah, I settled on just using Stomp. I might have leveled up and learned Stomp. Maybe that's why I did it easier. Anyways, I get to the last rival fight, and it was extremely easy. I basically have an answer for almost every Pokemon he has except for Golbat, and Golbat's not really a super big problem. Like, I have Dig for Haunter and stuff, so I don't really have to worry there, and I have Bite for Alakazam, which normally you don't really have an answer for Psychic types, but I did here. So that was really easy, and then we get to the Elite Four. And here, I, I was really confused as to how I was going to edit this because of the way I did these battles. Normally, I... I go in with more of a mythological approach, but this time I was like, I was running so ahead of schedule at this point, which I was worried when I got stuck on Claire there. Um, I guess I didn't really say that then, but I was really ahead of schedule at this point, so I was kind of just like, okay, I have some time to waste. I can level up a little bit on the Elite Four if I need to, and I'm just going to go in and just, just try, and if I make it, I make it, if I don't, I don't. 
So I'm showing you the first I'm going to show you the failed attempt, the first attempt of each of them, which might not be the failed on all of them, but I'm going to show you the first attempt at least, and then I will show you the winning attempt for the most part on these. So we get to the bug trainer here, and um, it's pretty easy, and not bug, is he bug? He's poison, but he has a lot of bug. Anyways, we have fire moves for um, that steel ball thing he has, whatever it's called, I can't remember, my mind is just gone right now. Um, fortress. Uh, well, yeah, we have a fire move for that, so that's good. And then we have fire moves through the bug types and um, flamethrower. We learned while we was battling the elite four here. I think is when we learned it, or maybe we learned it on the way to them. Anyways, it was super helpful, and I am very glad that we learned that. I remember what happened. I didn't have fire flamethrower. I lost to Will, I think, a couple times or something, and then I leveled up, and then I went back in and did the elite four. That's what happened. So, um, Bruno here. I I might have already shown it. I uh, maybe I lost to him this time actually. Um, I did lose to Bruno once or twice or something. I don't know, but that was when I wasn't really trying and I was just going in and um, doing things. So yeah, that was the Bruno fight, and then we go through to Karen and Karen wasn't really hard either. I did have to try a couple times because I had to figure out what would be best for Gengar. What I've noticed with Karen is, especially with the legendaries, is she's not particularly hard. You just want to make sure you get Gengar killed as fast as possible because you don't want Gengar to set up curse. If Gengar sets up curse, then you're cursed and you're not gonna make it through. Um, so I, this is probably the winning attempt on them all, I would assume, or something. I don't know, this is a really long clip here. Oh yeah, this is the winning at the last attempt on them all. It is completely unedited, so you see everything I do, even the ethers and stuff, when I do use them to um, get my moves back between the trainers, um, which I only used one, I think, on Flamethrower. Um, so Will, Koga, both there, it was extremely easy. It wanted me to learn Swagger, no thank you. Um, I think I might be, yeah. So we get done Crobat which was really annoying actually. And I thought I was going to lose here, but I didn't because we just got lucky, I guess. I don't know. Um, we was faster and we went first. So, and we had super effective moves against the Pokemon that was left. So it wasn't too bad. We use a full a hyper potion um, there, fully heal again. And then we use a full heal to get rid of the poison. And as soon as I did that, I'm like, oh no. I only had one full heal left, and I had antidotes and stuff for poison. I should have used that. What if I'm asleep or frozen or something later? I'm not going to have anything to um, deal with that. Which I couldn't be frozen, I guess, but you know what I mean. So, anyways, we get to Bruno, and I am just like, okay, I'm going to use an ether on Flamethrower at this point. I've already embraced that. I have some ethers. I think I'm going to be able to take down everything here. So I was like, I'm just going to go for it with Flamethrower. I don't care if I'm going to be low on PP. Um, I'll just use an ether on that move because I have several ethers. I found a new a couple that I normally don't pick up along the way So I do have more ethers than I normally have this time, but I don't use them. I only use one um, So yeah, anyways Karen here was extremely easy. I leveled up to the point where and I used two bird candies I had um, in the middle of one of these um, battles before not in the battle but like between them because I um, knew I wanted to take out Gengar in one hit and I needed the candies to get to the level to where, because I knew it was really close before, a sliver of red health. So I wanted Flamethrower to take out Gengar in one hit and it did here, as you've seen. I upped the PP with Ether for Flamethrower here. I might have used a PP up. Oh, I guess. If I don't use a PP up here, then I guess I never used it. That's weird. It's interesting, too. Um, but I guess I didn't need it, did I? What am I doing here? I don't remember doing this. Oh, I was seeing if any other moves needed um, PP. I wasn't super comfortable with Bite only having 10. Because um, I didn't know how much I would be using Bite in this last battle. But I knew that Dragon wasn't going to be like super affected by Bite. So I was like, okay, 10 will be fine, probably. Um, and here I was like, oh no, water type was the one weakness I had with unknown, or with 
with unknown here. Yeah, Inte. Um, I just really didn't have an answer for water type sick at all. Like, I didn't know what to do. Okay, before we get to the point to where I do it, I'm just going to defend myself. The trainers in this game use 1-2 to two full heals or hyper potions or whatever throughout the battle every time. So, as long as I'm not using an unrealistic number of them, I don't think that anything's wrong with that. And I'm not going to be the type of challenger on here on YouTube that does the no items thing. I really enjoy watching those. I enjoy watching J Rose. I enjoy watching Madrai Bread. I enjoy watching other channels that I've seen here or there. Um, but at the same time, like in my challenges personally, I'm okay with using an item here or there. A healing item because the other trainers in the game do it so why shouldn't I be able to so I normally cap it out at, I don't want to do more than two because I don't really remember seeing a trainer do more than two ever but um yeah I didn't even really talk about it over it because I kind of just got lucky not lucky I guess but I kind of just brute forced my way through it because Entei has such good stats and I could not believe it. I could not believe how fast Entei got this done. So this time that it took to beat it, obviously, is how long it took me to beat it. With what, like, how I play the game. So compare it to the other Pokemon that I've done already. And you'll get an idea of, you know, what this means. It took me an hour, 53 minutes, and 45 seconds to beat the game with Entei. And we wasn't at that high of a level either, so... This was extremely surprisingly quick to do. I thought the Elite Four would be more of a struggle than that. With um, with Raikou, the Elite Four was one of the things that really slowed it down because um, ground type Pokemon are immune to electric moves, so I couldn't depend on my electric move, and Raikou didn't have a good electric move until level 72. So um, Flamethrower is decent, um, but... You know, Entei was able to get through it. Um, Raikou was not. So, anyways, that's the difference there. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully the next Pokemon video will be the Banat one in Emerald. And if not, then I'll see you on another Crystal one. But I will see you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next week.